Viper Filter King here, Christos. We're going to show you how to use this microscopic oil filter machine to filter your fryer and your oil and make it great and serve great fried food seven days a week consistently. And it's all plugged in, it's ready to go. Previous demonstrations we showed you how to assemble, clean the machine, and all that stuff. So now uh, we're going to put this pipe in. Every fryer comes with a pipe. We put it on. We bring the machine right up to it and we turn it this way. Okay. This doesn't have to be super tight in here because it's not forced. It's gravity fed oil. Um, we are going to shut the gas off just in the off position. The pilot light can stay on. That's not a big deal. But we don't want to filter with 350 degree oil hot running um, the fire on because then it's going to light like a candle when there's just a little bit of oil residue on the elements. So we're just going to shut it off temporarily, but we must filter at 350 degrees. You do not want to filter microscopically at 200 degrees or 250 degrees. It's got to be at 350 degrees. So right now, counterclockwise, if you can't see the numbers here, you want to go counterclockwise until you can't go no more. That's typically the off position, okay? We're filtering at 350 degree oil. I'm going to show you if you can see that. Also, pay attention to the color of the oil right now. We fried a lot of stuff. So, this is like a brownish color right now. And hopefully when we filter, it's gonna be nice and shiny again. Polished oil, filter to a microscopic level. And we're at 350 degrees, very close to it. Some thermometers are off. But um, remember that when you filter uh, with any machine, even our microscopic oil filter machine, you're never gonna get rid of the color completely. So as you go five, six, seven days, the color of your, uh, Oil may be darker, but it does it. What, what changes is the viscosity of the oil, so it's going to be thin. It's not going to have all that stuff uh, on it that degrades the oil. So it's not so much the color, but the viscosity of the oil. Just like olive oil is green, but the uh, the stuff that you cook with the food is not green. So same thing with your uh, with your fryer. You can't go by color anymore, how the oil looks like to think when you're gonna change it. You gotta go by that log chart that I told you where you have to look at the log chart and see every, the first fryer we went 20 days, second fryer went maybe 14 days, third fryer maybe seven days. So you gotta go by that from now on. And of course, tasting the food and squeezing it like chefs do to see how greasy it is. You can't, and, and also another thing is you're gonna notice that your food will actually fry a little faster. So be careful not to overcook things. Okay, so as soon as we shut it off, we are now gonna turn this lever. Some, some of these levers are red. This one happens to be gray. You wanna turn it on all the way, but if you don't, things get stuck right here if there's a lot of debris in there, and then it doesn't allow uh, it to, to filter fast, okay? So we want to let it drain completely, and once it's drained, then we're going to turn on the machine, and whatever oil's in here is going to start to go in here, okay? We're never going to use this to vacuum. You never want to start with in reverse. You want to go forward. So let me show you what's in here right now, um, Mr. Cameraman. Uh, show them inside, see all the debris and the settlement and stuff. So we're going to use the hot 350 degree hot oil to actually wash out and rinse all these things. So we simply put it on in the on position. And we are slowly gonna use this to rinse out all the debris from the fryer. And it has a bend here, the machine, the gun has a bend. So that way you can go right inside that wall like that and actually clean it out. This process should take about five to six minutes depending on single or double fryers. Notice how we're doing this. And we're using the hot oil to actually clean the fryer.
you can scrape it along the bottom, like so. Scrape it here on this side. And just let it continue to filter for about five minutes. This is great. This comes with your machine. So that way we can do this. Do this side. something else while it's doing that. Now, if you see that oil is not coming down from here, guess what that means? That possibly your fryer inside here is a little hole is clogged. So you're going to have to maybe stop your machine and stop the, stop the uh, process here until you can figure out how to clog this. If you have a lot of debris, you may want to consider getting our fryer guard which sits, uh, sits inside here all day long uh, underneath the french fry baskets and actually picks up all the big debris which allows you to filter easier without all the stuff fill, filling your, uh, clogging your fryer. uninterrupted. And I think we're good. So now what we're going to do is close this thing right here and then let it continue filling. And once it's full, you're pretty much done and ready to go to your second fryer. One filter pad will give you up to three fryers, sometimes even four. So now we're going to close it 
and we're just going to let it fill up. And when it fills up, we're pretty much done. Now it's okay to go another 30 seconds or so after the oil is all the way inside the fryer. That way we can get most of the oil out of the fryer. And remember, it's not, the machine likes cooking oil, so you do not need to get every drop out of the oil. It needs to have some oil in there out of, out of the fryer. You need to have some oil in there so it can prime next time you're, you're getting ready to filter again. So look at that. Can you see through that, guys? Before we couldn't see through that, okay? So it picked up all the flour and all the debris. So you wanna do it right here on the ledge here, not inside here so it splatters. But you wanna do that for about another 30 seconds. Get as much, much oil as you can out. That's okay, it's not gonna hurt the machine. And then when you're all done, you wanna lift the pipe up a little bit in the air, like this. So that way you can get everything out. And then we can shut it off good to the last drop <laughs> okay. and we're going to keep rolling so now this is very hot so we have to put on our glove when we touch super hot things so we want to do this we want to do this and now we want to see what the heck did we catch So these are the big breadcrumbs. Most oil filter machines in the industry are only gonna catch these things. That's it. They're not gonna catch what we're gonna see underneath and that's what degrades the oil, okay? Look at this. Look at this. See this stuff right here? This is what clogs arteries. This is what clings on to the food and makes it greasy when you eat it, okay? It's gotta be able to take out all these things. Otherwise, you're not gonna get extended oil for seven days, 10 days, if you don't take this stuff out and the only thing you're taking out is the breadcrumbs, okay? Very, very important. But this is the stuff that you gotta get out, okay? Now, we're gonna show you how to use the machine to clean the tank. So that way you'll never have to put water in here. You'll never have to reach inside cleaning this with detergent, okay? Because the machine is pitched forward. The back wheels are taller than the front and everything drains forward. So we're gonna use the machine to actually clean itself. So I'm gonna show you that right now. We're gonna go near this thing again. Without the screen basket this time, we're gonna point it down, and we're gonna now put some oil in here. Only I would say about an inch above the filter. About this much is fine. And now we're gonna turn it on with the gun inside, I'm sorry inside the tank. We're gonna use it. To clean everything. I might have put too much oil inside. Probably a little less than that is good to have. But against the sides, this thing right here, all the way inside. And also, I'm going to show you, I'm going to put it on the off position. 
we put a little bit too much oil in there, so let's put some back. I want to show you what the reverse what the reverse is for. So keep looking inside here. Because when we have literally very little I want to see all the debris on the filter so you can see what happens. See it drying the filter? That's all that brown stuff is all debris. Fine, very fine. Literally the flour and everything. So we want to clean that as you go to filter fryer one to fryer two to fryer three. Remember I told you the filtration process slows down. So because of that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip our gun in about one inch okay the, the filtration process slows down and you're going to see that it's going to bring oil backwards underneath the filter and clean this filter and push it out so don't have it in the air suck air we want it inside the oil about an inch and we're going to go forward oh i apologize we're going to go reverse and watch what happens to the filter watch how it's going to clean the debris off the filter one two Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See it cleaning the filter? See the white spots? Okay, now the debris is off the filter. It, it, it you know, it's going to give it room to breathe. Now we go forward again. And we can actually, we're actually going to get more out. much as possible. So I'm actually going to clean the machine again just to show you how we can clean it. The oil really works good like that now. Clean the tank. Side. See how it's all flowing forward? It. We stop it, we put the gun back in the fryer, and turn it on again, forward, and just let it continue grabbing all the oil, and you're pretty much done. The whole process, it's about five minutes of filtering, and another minute or two to get all the oil out. So anywhere from five to six to seven minutes, depending on the fryer you have. We'll leave it for another 30 seconds. And we'll put it on. There you have it. That's your whole process. You do that for five, six, seven minutes a night, and you're gonna give yourself great fry food consistently seven days a week. Your customers are gonna be happy. You're gonna cut your oils by 50 to 70% and the machine will pay off itself literally in the first six months. We have a phenomenal um, auto filter program that if you continue to buy auto filters, uh, filters from us every month, uh, it warranties the, the machine. So year five, year six, your machine, your motor and your pump go and you just call us up and we literally send you a new one. And we wanna build long-term, lifelong relationships with our restaurant customers. We don't want to build a piece of junk. It's built here in the USA. All the parts are here in the USA. So we're never going to be out of parts. Um, and uh, it's just a phenomenal machine. Great for restaurants. We have it in the Copacabana Resort in Disney. We have it at the Legends bb and Stadium in Pennsylvania. We have it in restaurants all over the country. And uh, you're going to love this machine. It's going to be your last machine and the only one you're going to need for all your frying. It's worth it if you care about the quality of fried food that you serve to your customers and want to save money on oil, then you definitely want to get the Microfilter King machine. Thank you for watching.
Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to clean up everything at the end of the night. So this stuff, you can literally just go like this. Or if you have this, you can go like that. Or basically you can run this right in the dishwasher, okay? Be careful not to rip this screen. This is a 200 micron screen. So you just run it through the dishwasher and you're fine, okay? I'm gonna put it there temporarily. Now, if you wanna use like a cookie sheet, I think it's a good idea to use. Let me take this out. Now this can be hot. I'm wearing triple gloves or whatever so I can show you things better. Let it drip a little bit. And basically, just unscrew it by hand. Again, no pliers on this stuff. Let's bring it up like that. Take this, roll it, and throw it in the garbage. That's it, You're pretty much done. This you can put through the dishwasher. You don't wanna build up debris inside here, so you definitely want to uh, put it through the dishwasher. This oil inside here is okay. Remember I told you, it needs to have some oil in there to be able to prime properly. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Rubber O-rings are intact, always check those. Put it back in, make sure it sits right, and actually put a filter in there so you're ready to go the next day.